Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. People on Facebook are so stupid. <laughs> Dude, they are so stupid. Is there a point even discussing politics on Facebook anymore? Like you're actually going to change someone's mind through the Socratic method. Somehow use your words to convince them unless I'm an idiot. Bunch of morons posting links to unaccredited blogs to prove some kind of point. Right, hey everybody, Ebola is a US conspiracy. Here's 10 pages on this website that proves everything. Handing out reading assignments. <laughs> and you read this, and you get back to me, and you tell me how right I was. So stupid, same stupid idiots complaining about privacy issues on Facebook. Oh my God, there's no privacy on Facebook. Facebook just keeps taking all my data. Facebook just keeps taking all the data, which I keep uploading to it. Oh my God. Well, the tyranny never ends. I just keep uploading my data. Facebook just keeps taking it and taking it. So stupid. Facebook's trying to take your data. What makes you think Facebook wants your data anyway? Huh? What do you do with your life that's so awesome that Facebook wants your data? Were you Jason Bourne? Yeah, they want to hack your computer, get some sensitive intel. This multi-billion dollar company, Harvard educated. They couldn't figure it out. They want your data. Yeah, they want your data. They want that photo of you lying on the beach, your legs in the sand, right? <laughs> or that photo of your cappuccino next to your notepad because that's how you start your mornings, right? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Thank God you did that. Thank God you did that. That's multi-million dollar data right there. That's a lot of money. We want that. That's original content. Netflix wants to make a series from that. It's great. <laughs> we live in such weird times now, right? We live in such strange times. Like, when did a taxi ride to the airport start to cost more than the flight? <laughs> when the hell did that happen? Can someone please explain to me how it's now cheaper to fly through the sky than it is to sit through rush hour traffic? Doesn't make any sense. I blame the budget airlines. That's right, these stupid low-cost budget airlines and the stupid no-frills culture. No frills. No frills, man. You don't need frills. What, you high maintenance? No frills. No frills, basics, no perks, no frills. Frills, no, none, no. Listen, frills aren't the enemy, okay? Stop waging war on frills. Stop making me sound like a diva because I want a blanket in sub-zero temperatures, all right? Frills are good. Frills are good. Frills are the only thing that separates humans from animals. Yeah, I didn't spend three million years evolving to get up in the sky and have to hunt and gather, all right? Just give me that. It. Just give it to me. Without my credit card, just give me the goddamn tray of food. <laughs> damn budget, no frills budget airlines. <laughs> Dude, they're just trying to get the price low enough to where you don't care about dying. <laughs> That's all that is. That's all that is. Like, would you fly Air Asia? No. $50 to London. All right, I'll roll that dice. All right. <laughs> That sounds like a bargain to me, I'll roll that dice. Despite the fact there's absolutely no way you could afford to pay for the maintenance of this aircraft based on a $50 fare per person, but whatever, it's just my life, let's do it. Oh, what's that, $50 return? All right, double or nothing, let's go, yeah. You can't die twice. Oh, what's that? I gotta bring my own seats? Yeah, it won't be a problem. I got plenty of them back home. I got foldable chairs with cup holders. I'll bring my own frills. <laughs> I feel like we're all gearing up for the greatest war of our generation, right? iPhone versus Android. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sick of iPhone versus Android. Just use what you want and shut up about it. Who cares what phone you use? As though like hating on someone else's phone is gonna like make your phone better, right? Like I got this friend. Okay, he happens to use an Android, right? This stupid idiot. He happens to use an Android. <laughs> and if you just mention the word iPhone around him in any context, if you just hit that keyword, he just starts losing his shit, right? You're not even talking to him. You're talking to someone else behind him. Just like, oh, hey, I just got an iPhone. Is it an iPhone? Is it an iPhone? iPhone? You just got an iPhone? The iPhone sucks. <laughs> Look at my Android just getting stronger with the hate. Look at this, it's like the dark side of the force, just unlocking new abilities. The iPhone sucks! Rise, Android, rise. <laughs> just use what you want and shut up about it. Who cares what phone you use? Dude, 
Like when the iPhone 6 came out, remember when the iPhone 6 came out? That guy released that YouTube video of the iPhone 6 bending? Remember that shit? Hey everybody, look at this everyone, the iPhone 6 bends. Look at this, if you do this to it, it bends. What a piece of this is. If you do this to it, it bends. Yeah, no kidding, dip <laughs> Oh, who would have thought that if you use all your strength to bend an iPhone 6 at its weakest point, it breaks. Who knew? <laughs> there goes my plan to build a bridge off iPhone 6s. <laughs> Just no structural integrity whatsoever. Hey, listen, you guys have been great. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys there next time.